Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I am going to tell you how to remote play your PlayStation 5 games remotely onto your Steam Deck. As you know PlayStation has already released few official applications for Windows and Android system through which you can remotely play your PlayStation 5. As you know Steam Deck is a Linux system. As of now Sony PlayStation has not released any official application to remote play your PlayStation onto your Linux system. So I will be telling you in this video how to install Chiaki for Deck which is being used for remote play for PlayStation 5 onto your Steam Deck and without lag. So as you can see guys I have Chiaki here onto my Steam Deck and if I hit play I will be able to remotely log in onto my PlayStation. As you can see I have a PlayStation screen right on the Steam Deck to be able to play the games. So this is as you can see is a very fluid experience and you can officially play any game onto your Steam Deck remotely and you can control the characters using the joysticks. So I'll be telling you how to install Chiaki, not just install Chiaki, I will also be telling you how to configure your Steam Deck controls and how to automate the system so as to be able to play the PlayStation game remotely onto your Steam Deck seamlessly without any problems. So ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. Now to start with guys, let's first quickly configure the PlayStation so as to be able to connect your Steam Deck remotely to your PlayStation 5. To do that guys, you need to first go on PlayStation and then go all the way to the settings and then in the settings you have to go to system. In the system you have to go to remote play and ensure that guys is enabled. If this is disabled, you will not be able to connect your Steam Deck remotely onto your PlayStation 5. This is super important. So next thing that you need to do is go on to the power savings and then go on to the features available in rest mode. Click A and ensure that enable turning on PS5 from network is enabled. This will help you to reactivate or turn on your PlayStation whenever you click Chiaki from your Steam Deck. So whenever you click as an application Chiaki, it will automatically turn on your PS5 and connect remotely. So this is also something super important that you need to turn on before you can start configuring your Steam Deck. So now that you have already enabled these two features, let's go back onto Steam Deck and I will let you know how to install Chiaki properly and configure it. So let's go back. So now guys since you are on Steam Deck hit the Steam button and then go all the way down to power and then click on switch to desktop. This will switch your Steam console from gaming mode on to the desktop mode so that you are able to install the applications. So now first thing that you need to do is open browser onto your Steam Deck and in the browser you have to search for Chiaki for Deck. So as you can see, I have already searched before. So here you have to go on to this second option, Setup Overview of Chiaki Deck. So this is where you need to go. So this is here, you have the step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Chiaki onto your Steam Deck. You, either you can go through it or follow my instructions if you do not understand how to install the Chiaki onto your Steam Deck and configure it. It has almost all the steps that you need to do. First we'll start with the installation, then configuration, then automation, then game time mode and then control our options. So here we'll install the Chiaki, second we'll configure the Chiaki, then we'll automate some of the features of the Chiaki so that it goes into the PlayStation mode, directly enable your PS5 and then you don't have to double click on see the select the options, things like that and it will already be in full screen right on to play and then game time mode and then controller options to configure the controller with the default settings. So that is what we are going to do. We'll start with the installation. This is very simple process guys. You can follow from this website. So first click on installation. Here you have all the instructions that you need to follow. All you need to do is copy this command that you have. I will also paste this command onto my description so that you have it handy. If you don't want to go onto this page, just copy this command. This will install the Chiaki onto your Steam Deck. To install it, 
you need to open the console from the start menu. It is the console name starting with K. So it's a terminal. Here you need to paste the command. Here you have an option to paste. Click paste and press enter. It will start downloading the Chiaki for deck onto your system. So once the Chiaki is installed, it would look like this more or less. So this will install all the dependencies onto your system as well. So ensure that you follow this link or don't install Chiaki for deck directly from the app store. Otherwise you will have to install further applications so as to be able to make Chiaki properly. So ensure that you go on to this link instead of the Chiaki for deck from the application menu. So here, next thing that you need to do is go to configurations. So in the configuration, you have two options, upgrading using Chiaki Flatpak on Steam Deck or new to Chiaki on Steam Deck, depending upon. So if you are upgrading from an older Chiaki version to a newer Chiaki version or you are installing it fresh. So here, since you're going to install new, I will follow this process. So first thing that you need to do is remote play and turn on, which we have already done. Next, we will scroll all the way down to copy this command, account ID. This will help you figure out what is the PlayStation account ID which is hidden in your PlayStation. So without this PlayStation ID, you will not be able to use Chiaki to remotely connect your PS4. So ensure that you follow the process. So what you have to do is copy the command. This is very simple and then go back to console. Here you need to paste it. Again click on paste here and then press enter. It will give you a link through which you need to log into your PlayStation account. So you can do a right click and open the link in the browser. As you can see it will take you to the Sony login page. Here you need to log in through your PlayStation ID. It will take you to this page where you have the redirect printed onto your screen. You have to do nothing more here. Just go on to the URL and then copy the URL and go back to console. And here you can paste it again. So here is your console. As you can see, it is waiting for the command. All you need to do is paste and then press enter. So as you can see, it has generated the code and it has given you the account ID. Your account ID is placed here. All you need to do is copy this account ID. Now since we have your account ID and you have your Chiaki installed, next thing you need to do is go to the applications and open Chiaki. As you can see, if your PlayStation is turned on, it will show you the PlayStation onto your Chiaki application, you have to go here and enter your PlayStation ID and your PlayStation code. To get the PlayStation code, you have to go on to the PlayStation, go to the remote play and go to the device link and there you will get the device code and that code you have to enter here. Once you have entered the code guys, it will connect onto your PlayStation network. So this completes the section of configuration of your PlayStation. Next thing that you need to do is to go back to the browser, you need to go on to automation. In automation guys, you have to go and copy the command which is here for Chiaki for deck. So let's copy this command and go back to the console. Now since you are back to the console, next thing that you need to do is paste the command and then press enter. It will ask you to copy the IP address. Just ensure that first thing you need to do is copy this IP address and then close close Chiaki. Do not click on this icon guys yet. So first close this one so that you have the IP address. Next thing you need to do is scroll all the way down to the second command here. So this will help you generate a script. Now let's go back to console. So here we are back on the console. We need to do a paste again for the second command. The first command did was to open Chiaki so that you have your IP address configured. So you just paste the command and press enter. It will ask you several questions so as to be able to generate the script depending upon the choices. So it is asking which 
launcher that you want to use is PlayStation 5 so I will enter 2 and press enter next thing it is asking whether you're going to use an IP address or host name I'm going to use an IP address press enter it will ask you for the IP address which you copied before 192.168.3.15 so that is what my IP address was so press enter you are going to use it outside home I am not going to use it outside home so I'll press N I want to use it in full screen zoom or stretch I will use full screen and then do you have PlayStation login password if you have a password on your PlayStation ensure that you put it there since I do not have it so I will press N and press enter and then this will create your script so as you can see you have Chiaki for deck logo onto your console that means that you have created your shell correctly so next thing that you need to do open your steam by clicking on the steam now we are going to add Chiaki onto your steam deck so to do that you have to go on to games you have to go to add a non steam game to my library so here you have a Chiaki for deck already as a application but guys you don't have to go here you have to go on to the place where I am going to tell you you have to click on browse then you have to go on dot V A R press enter then you have to go to app press enter then you have to go to RE Chiaki for deck press enter then you have to go to config press enter and then you have to go to Chiaki press enter and then you have to select this shell script this is the script that we have generated right now if you would have selected the application it will directly open the application without the configuration that you have done but the shell script that you created for the full screen PlayStation 5 this will help you seamlessly login into your PlayStation 5 directly without any further clicks just one click on play on Chiaki and it will directly go on to your PlayStation 5 and it will connect depending upon the credential that you have provided so that is why guys you need to select the script not the application directly there so once you select click on open and then click on add selected program this will add Chiaki onto your Steam Deck now next thing that you need to do click on return to game mode once you have returned to game mode you will see in the recent games if you don't see it in the recent games you have to go on to the library from here you have to go on to all the way to non steam games and then you will see the Chiaki for deck if it is not named like this guys you need to rename it press enter it is super important for this to be renamed as Chiaki for deck so to rename it you have to go on to the settings and go on to properties and then you here you can see you have the name you have to rename it exactly like this Chiaki 4 deck exactly without spaces and all in small letters this is super important guys so as to be able to configure the controls later onto this Chiaki so since I have already done it so I am going to go back once you have rename this icon you have to go back again onto the controllers here we will be able to configure the controller so here you can see I have the controller to select so first thing we need to do to select this controller is go on to the top hit A here you have the templates we have to go to community layouts here you can see Chiaki for deck plus this is what you need to select this will configure all your button layout onto the standard value including the top trackpad that you normally use on PlayStation that will be configured to one of the trackpad onto your Steam Deck so this is super important guys so as to be able to use full functionality of the Steam Deck directly you need to select this controller so you come here you press A and it will be selected like this so all your layout and controls will be by default installed for applying press X and then this is how you apply your Steam Deck controller so this is it guys this completes the configuration of the layout and also automation of Chiaki now your Chiaki application is ready to play you can go back and hit on play 
this will automatically launch on to your PlayStation 5 and all buttons will be working. As you can see, I am able to control everything from my Steam Deck directly and play any game. I will launch the Hogwarts. As you can see, I am able to log in properly. I am able to use the controls and move the control and also play the game directly right from my Steam Deck, my PlayStation 5 remotely. This is very handy guys, so as to be able to play all the titles of PlayStation remotely from your Steam Deck. This is a small console. You can take it anywhere from any place in your house. You don't have to be really in front of the PC to be able to play PlayStation 5 games inside your house. And one of the important thing guys that I would like to add here is to always recommend to connect your PlayStation 5 with the cable instead of Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi will still have some latency so you might see some latency but since my PlayStation is directly connected via cable to my internet to my router I am able to connect my Steam Deck to Wi-Fi and then will be able to control PlayStation 5 remotely inside the house without lag it performs really smooth guys that is my experience that i have so this is it guys i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies